Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna check out the Stage 360 soundbar from Creative Labs. And a big thanks to Creative for sending this out for review. All right, just to give you some quick details on the Stage 360 before we go into the unboxing. So this is a 2.1 soundbar. And as you can see, we have a somewhat smaller soundbar and subwoofer combo. And I think this would be great for a bedroom setup or for a computer setup. Now, even though this is a compact system, it actually still packs a punch. So as you can see, we have 240 watts peak, and it also includes Dolby Atmos. So if you're unfamiliar with Dolby Atmos, if you watch movies like I do, uh, a lot of movies have Dolby Atmos built in, and the sound with those is absolutely incredible versus listening on a uh, traditional soundbar. Now, in addition to movies, you can also listen to music with Dolby Atmos, and certain services like Apple Music or Tidal have many songs in Dolby Atmos and it just adds to the experience. It makes it sound absolutely incredible. So if you've never heard Dolby Atmos, I definitely recommend it. One place you may have heard Dolby Atmos is in the movie theater. AMC Movie Theater specifically has a Dolby theater and they not only have Dolby Atmos, but they have Dolby Vision. So you can see and hear the difference with movies there. So you'll kind of get that kind of experience at home with one of these sound bars. So I definitely recommend it. Now, in addition to that, it does mention it has powerful bass as well. And pricing for the Stage 360 as of the recording of this video on Amazon is $199.99. All right, here's everything that's included in the box. So as you can see, we have our subwoofer here. We have our soundbar here. And our subwoofer is bigger than our soundbar. Uh, so I'm just surprised at how tiny this is. But again, great for a bedroom setup or for a PC setup. So we have a couple power cables. We do have a UK cable included. I'm not sure if that's normally included, but we do have our two traditional uh, United States plugs here. And those will go into our subwoofer and soundbar. We do have our quick start guide here. We do have an included optical cable. We have a remote included as well. And then we also have uh, feet for the subwoofer or for the soundbar, excuse me, itself. We also have a limited warranty and some other uh, information there. Now our subwoofer is not wireless. We do have a barrel plug that plugs into the soundbar. However, the cable is pretty long, so uh, you should have no trouble uh, finding a spot near your TV to plug this in. All right, taking a look at the back of the soundbar, you can see our inputs here. So we have our input for our power. We have an input for our, our output for our subwoofer. We do have a USB, it says for service only. We do have an optical in, so that is included. We have our HDMI ports here. So we have HDMI 1, HDMI 2, and HDMI out arc. Now, an HDMI cable is not included with this, so you'll have to supply your own, but you can use the uh, included optical cable if you do have that on the back of your TV. Taking a look at the top of the soundbar, you can see we have a creative branding on the top. We do have a power key. We have two plus and minus keys, as well as a source key. And you can see we do have a little Bluetooth logo right next to the power key here. And taking a quick look at our remote, you can see that it looks a little familiar. It's because every soundbar that I've reviewed uses pretty much the identical style of remote. Now the difference with creatives is that the controls are different, but as you can see, the button layouts are exactly the same, just different brands on the bottom. So the great thing is you can probably use these remotes with each of these sound bars, but just wanna show you that they are exactly the same. Another thing to note is that the batteries are not included. However, this takes two AAA batteries. And just to give you an idea of how small this soundbar is, here is the current soundbar I'm using with the Creative Stage 360 on top. It's very tiny. So we do have three items to plug into the back of the soundbar. So we, of course, have our power. Uh, that is a two-prong power plug, of course. We do have our plug for our uh, subwoofer out. And then whether you want to use HDMI or optical, uh, you can choose whichever. I prefer to use HDMI arc. If you are using this, you do need to plug that into an HDMI arc port on the back of your TV if you do have that available. All right, so as you can see, we have everything hooked up here. I do have our soundbar down there. It is quite tiny, uh, but again, it does have that Dolby Atmos immersive sound. So I'm gonna give you a quick sample with the Top Gun Maverick trailer. What do we have here? Yeah, here I thought we were special. Fellas, this here's Bagman. Hangman. Whatever. What the hell kind of mission is this? Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell. Let me be perfectly blunt. You are not my first choice. 
You are here at the request of Admiral Kazansky, a.k.a. Iceman. He seems to think that you have something left to offer the Navy. What that is, I can't imagine. With all due respect, sir, I'm not a teacher. Just want to manage the expectations. All right, unfortunately, I don't have any way of giving you a sample of music with Dolby Atmos because most of those will obviously be copyrighted. So I'm going to give you a quick no copyright sound from YouTube just to give you an idea of how this is going to sound with music. One thing I will emphasize is that the bass on this is actually really, really good. So here is a quick sample of that. briefly go over our remote control here. Uh, we do again, we have a power key, mute key, we have our information key, display key, we have a volume up and down, play, pause, rewind, fast forward. Uh, the TV and optical, this just swaps between those functions. Uh, the HDMI 1 and 2 goes between those. We have a Bluetooth key. And then we have uh, something kind of interesting here, the far and near. So if you're far, uh, this will change the sound to be better if you are further than one meter from the sound bar. And if you're near, this will change it so that it sounds better if you are closer to it. Uh, we also have our bass boost here, so you can turn that up or down. And then we have our different modes, which goes through a couple of different EQs. And according to our quick start guide, we do have four different modes. We have movie, music, night, and why. All right, now I'm gonna play that same song I played before, but we're gonna go through the different EQs just to hear the difference between all of them. As far as those EQs went, the music one was really good as well as the wide. I think the wide one was the best because that one definitely had a uh, real loudness to it. Uh, the night kind of quieted things down. It wasn't as bassy. And then the movie, of course, was also a little quieter for movies. Now, another thing we'll test real quick is the near and far. So I'm going to go ahead and play this again, and then we'll see if that actually does change how it sounds. So as you saw there, the near and far button didn't really do anything. It looked like it kind of caused more issues. So uh, it kind of made my TV flicker and go in and out. Uh, I did notice that the Apple TV 4K is in Dolby Vision. I don't know if that kicked something off, but um, maybe it would work in a different application versus YouTube. But as you saw, it did not uh, do much there. It just caused a weird flickering. Now, one thing to note is we do have a little display on the front of the uh, sound bar. And as you can see, we're in Bluetooth mode. It does have a blue blinking light that lets you know that we can go ahead and connect it uh, to our phone or to whatever device we're going to play music from. So I'm going to go on my iPhone here and we're going to go into Bluetooth and see uh, if it does pop up. And as you can see on the phone here, we do have Creative Stage 360. We'll go ahead and tap that and it should pair. So as you can see, it is now connected. So that's the great thing about this. It does have that little display. So it does tell you what mode you're in, whether you're connected and whether it is actually uh, playing Dolby content. All right, some quick final thoughts on the Stage 360 from Creative. Uh, so as far as sound is concerned, absolutely blown away. Really, really impressed with the sound quality from such a small sound bar. And again, it has 240 watts peak, so uh, it does get pretty loud. Uh, you do have those four EQs that are included. Um, out of those two, I really like the music and wide. Wide definitely sounded the best. Now, as you saw in the couple clips I showed you, um, the Top Gun Maverick trailer does have Dolby Atmos in it. Um, so, of course, that one sounded really, uh, really, really amazing and immersive. But also music on YouTube uh, that was not Dolby Atmos. And that still sounded absolutely incredible um, on this soundbar. So, whether you're listening to Dolby Atmos content or not, it's going to sound really, really good. I do love the compact size of this. So, again, it'd be great in a bedroom or great on a computer setup if you wanted to use it that way. Um, even in the living room, it's going to sound great. And honestly, it's so unsuspecting when you would walk into a room and see something so small and it actually packs so much of a punch. Just really, really impressive. Now, the only thing I wasn't a fan of was obviously the near and far feature. Um, it didn't really work very well. As you saw on my TV, it kind of flickered and caused some weird, funky uh, issues. So I don't know what's up with that, but 
uh, I probably wouldn't use that uh, traditionally anyway. Um, everything else works absolutely perfect. So you do have Bluetooth, you have HDMI uh, arc, you also have that optical. Um, now, of course, I would like to see these cables being included, but only the optical was included. Uh, the batteries were not included with the remote either. Um, so I've noticed that with some of the sound bars I've reviewed previously, uh, some include it, some don't. I would like it to be included, especially if it's over a certain price point, but I can't really complain too much. Batteries are cheap um, and the cables are cheap also. But again, I would like to see it being included. But overall, whole package, I think the Stage 360 is definitely one to look at if you're looking at getting a 2.1 soundbar. And especially if you're looking at Dolby Atmos, uh, definitely worth it. And only 200 bucks, definitely one to look at. So I'll leave a link down below if you guys are interested in this soundbar. Any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.